you feeling? I feel good. I feel very happy to be here. Where are you coming from? South Carolina. Yes. I just arrived here five days ago, and I'm up here looking for a place to live and looking for a job. And when I heard that you guys were doing an open call, I was like, oh my god, like it's the fates. It's like, I was just so like, I have to go. I have to put my name in the hat. I have to be a part of this. Can you take off your jacket? Yeah. So can you talk about what your style says about you? My style changes a lot based on how I'm feeling about myself. I'm wearing my, my special rings today. They're kind of like my magic totems. <laughs> my boyfriend bought me this shirt and I love it. And I've never had um, a man buy me a, a piece of clothing that was really like, oh yeah, that, that's me. Like that is totally something I would wear. Like that was something I wanted to yeah, wear today. It makes me feel good. Um, can you take off your magical rings? Of course. <laughs> So can you talk about assumptions that people make about you based on your appearance? I've had lots of negative feedback from some men. I had a kind of a crush on a guy and he wanted to be with my best friend and she was very, very thin. And he blatantly told me that he couldn't be with me because of the way I looked. Like he was like, you're too big for me. I got up from where I was sitting and I burst into tears and I went to the bathroom and sobbed. I was hanging out with someone who, I, who wasn't even a friend of mine, he was an acquaintance of a, another friend of mine. And um, my best friend and I were looking at old high school photos of each other and um, he was with us. He looked at me and was like, what happened to you? because I didn't look like I did when I was in high school. When he made me so aware of myself, when I'm already so aware, it was just like, oh, okay, so everything I'm thinking is right. Everything that I think about myself that I'm insecure about is right because you're noticing it and you're saying it to me. Your body issues, how far back do they go? Oh, since childhood. I was bullied. I developed very early. Boys would pick on me a whole lot. I would come home from school crying all the time. Some girls would, would start saying things to me. Um, like, Perrin, don't, don't tuck your shirt in. Like, it makes you look fat. Like, you need to, like, do this. You know, you know, trying to show me how to be when no one was doing that to them. So it, it's, I started developing, like, a complex. It held me back to the point where shopping for clothes was torturous. I changed my body. I, I recognized that my metabolism was not like the other girls around me and that I had to watch it. When I was going to a pizza party and all the kids could eat as much pizza, pizza as they wanted, I was like, you know, like I can only have this much. And I was thinking about how long I was going to be on the treadmill before I went to the party. And then when I, you know, lost weight and um, was very disciplined, I got the validation for that from other people and from boys. So it became one of those things where it's like, oh, if I do, you know, the right thing, then it's, then I'm, then I'm okay. I, I dropped a bunch of weight because I was on certain diets and like exercising. Like your own made up diets or were you on like that? Like a metabolic diet that was not healthy. Like no carbs, no, no sugar but I could eat like sugar-free jello. And mm -hmm. so I would literally eat green beans and sugar-free jello. Probably lost like 30 pounds. And then I started experimenting with purging. It almost became like a drug. Like the, the release I felt from it was very like, I was like, oh, this is another way for me to control things. I got into a relationship that kind of helped me feel comfortable in my body. But I would have moments where I would feel really bad about eating something with him. And I would be like, okay, I gotta go do this. It was always like a milkshake too, like going to get a milkshake. Like I could never keep a milkshake down for some reason. With the binging and purging, did, do you actually lose weight or? No, like it wasn't, it, it just made me feel like I could be normal and eat things that my friends were eating. But because my body was different than theirs, I had to watch it. Like my body wasn't like theirs. There are certain rules for my body. Where are you now with your body and with your comfort in your body? Uh, I struggle every day still. There's like still a wounded little girl in me that I have to like 
talk to and care about, but I've like maintained a certain weight. Mm -hmm. Like this is the weight that I'm like going to be at. This is just what's natural. But I always still feel like I need to lose weight. Like it's always in my head. How are you dealing with that? Being here is something that I feel like is very helpful. Talking about it, being around other women who struggle with it and who feel the same way. Yoga has completely helped as well because it's my mind and my body being connected and that has been so beneficial and has opened up a whole lot of relief and acceptance for myself. Yeah. Um, do, do you really believe you should be anything different than you are, than, that your weight is, should be different than what it is? Do, I, do you I, really believe that? I don't in my heart. But there's this thing in my head that's always just, it's like this little demon that comes out. It, it's like I'm ha I, I can be having a great day and loving myself, but then something will happen and it'll trigger it. There's just triggers, you know? Like the dressing room. The fucking dressing room. <laughs> <laughs> what about like when you're being um, intimate with your boyfriend? Like, can you let go of the body shame that, no? It's, it's hard. That's, that's, I think, been the hardest for me is intimacy because when someone tells you that they love you and they think that you're beautiful and you want to believe them so bad but it doesn't match up with how you see yourself you're just like no there's something wrong with you for thinking that I talked to him about it and I've told him about it he knows I mean he calls you know he calls me a goddess and he loves me I believe that but it's like, it's almost like in my solar plexus, I have that like gut feeling where I'm like so uncomfortable. I'm like, but something's wrong with me. Like, and it's, it's hard to get rid of. Yes. These are the first jeans that I bought in like four years. Mm -hmm. I was wearing yoga pants and leggings for so long because I thought that jeans didn't look good on me. So how do you feel them? Um, I feel good in them, actually. I'm allowing myself to like, be like, yeah, yeah, girl, you look good. It's, it's, you're good. <laughs> when do you feel the most beautiful? <sighs> shavasana. Like, after Shavasana <laughs> yoga, like, after that, I'm just like, oh, God, yes, like. <laughs> Why in your body, why in your journey, why in your skin, why is it a good place to be? My feet, my hands, my eyes, they've been with me my entire life. They've had all of these experiences that make me who I am. And no one can take that away from me. If you were given the opportunity to be born in a wafy body, would you do it? No, because I think it's made me who I am and it's made me see things in a, in a special way. So now. Thank you so Thank much. You so Thank much. you. How do you feel right now? I feel liberated. I feel like I've let something go. I feel nice. <laughs>